Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Renee Roxanne. If you have not already, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you are notified each and every time when I post a new video. If you want to see the two simple methods that I use to take down my three week old box braids, let's get into it. Let's get right into this video. So the first part of taking your braids down in the most protective way possible is applying oil to your hands and smoothing it throughout all of your braids and rubbing it all over the lengths of your hair fully coated with either oil or with your favorite conditioner. I have two different techniques that I like to do. The first one is using a rat tail comb and poking the end directly into the braid starting at the bottom where the curl is, unravel the curl, and then continue to poke the rat tail comb into the middle portion of the braid and slide down. But working from the bottom and going up to the top, don't try to skip and like jump too far up to the top or else you'll just create knots in your braid as well as breakage. Stick the tail end in and smoothly pull through the end of the hair and it's really that simple with this technique. It works so much better when you're doing small braids that you feel like you want to cut off <laughs> before you attempt to even unravel them. So then I'm just going to take my curls comb and comb out the root area and then just comb through the entire section of hair which seems to not be tangled up at all. I'm going to do this no matter what just to make sure the hair is completely detangled and free of knots. Here's method two. If you do want to take them out with your fingers you'll start at the bottom that's just curled and then you'll continue to just pull the braid apart with both of your thumbs and point your fingers. Just gonna grab the middle of the braid and then pull apart. And you slowly work your way up. You don't wanna start at the top or skip any braids or else you will be in trouble with knots and tangles. So put your fingers in and pull apart. To do this to each and every braid as you work your way up. Comb out that root area and then start at the bottom. Then work your way up to that knot and everything should be smooth sailing. So when I get a large enough section, maybe like two more braids in here, I'll just uh, plait the section and put it away. So when I have enough braids so that I can make one big plait, about five braids, I'm going to comb out the entire section with the wet brush. I'm just going to go ahead and plait the section away and then we'll be ready to shower. And that is all from the section. That is amazing. I didn't lose too much hair, which is awesome. This is literally everything from all of my head. Okay y'all, so I did these braids, it literally says November 13th. That's when I did it. Today is December 5th. Yeah, December 5th. I had these braids in for three weeks. That's like having in traditional box braids with added hair. So you can keep your natural hair looking good for quite a long time. If you oil it, put your scarf on at nighttime and just, you know, rock different hairstyles, you'll get a different feel for it. And I don't know, I just got lazy after some point and for Thanksgiving, I threw a wig on. I just didn't feel like dealing with taking it out um, because I made Thanksgiving dinner. So what I'm going to do is just braid this section 
and then I am going to shampoo and condition my hair and then we're gonna get ready for the next hairstyle. Can you guys guess in the comments below what that next hairstyle is going to be? But we've come to the end of this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.